All right, so I just played Among Us with Keemstar, Ricky Berwick, Justin Wang, and a bunch of other YouTubers, and it was pretty fun. I got a bunch of videos out of it, and they're coming soon, including one where I rage at Keemstar. So uh, the first video's out already, so if you, uh, if you want to check it out, if you've got the time, go ahead. And yeah, I promise you, soon enough, that will be the main channel, so you don't want to miss it. Trust me, all right? Anyways, to the video. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Pegasus Talks About Random Stuff. On today's episode, we've got an overly conceited OnlyFans girl who thinks that what she does is far more important and more hard to do than being a doctor or a lawyer. Now, this take was so incredibly dumb, I think I had to legitimately step back from my computer, look at the ceiling, look at the floor, pulsate uh, pulsate my blood through my body, you know, just feel it pulsating, and just confirm that I'm still in reality. I don't even know what I just said there, but I pinched myself to make sure that um, it's real. And to my dismay, this is completely real, no satire. This is a genuinely narcissistic person who has the audacity to think that uh, taking a selfie barely is harder to do and more important than saving someone's life in the hospital from cancer. Honestly, forget the intros, we've got a lot to go over here. She made like this absolutely massive thread with like 14 tweets we gotta go over because she's very, um, you know, down in her uh, I ideals or whatever, but yeah, let's begin. If you're new here, subscribe. Frick work is easily harder than being a doctor or a lawyer. If you say otherwise, you are biased and lying because of your personal morals. A thread. Okay, first off, I just gotta clear up. She's an OnlyFans girl, so she's in the comfort of her home simply taking selfies. So, uh, I don't know if it, that's comparable to, like, you know, girls in the P-Hub industry and if that qualifies as frick work as well, but whatever, just clarifying that. Moving on. Here it gets juicy. To be a doctor, all you have to do is go to college. To have an OnlyFans, you have to have an impenetrable mental, um, I guess, fortress and keep up with your body indefinitely, which is exponentially harder than prescribing antibiotics all day. You also have to be a natural born talent. Honestly, what the frick am I reading? All you have to do is go to college? How Have you ever gone to college? It's not easy, right? And I'm pretty sure you have to do more than that. I mean, you're no doctor, so you wouldn't know, and I don't know either, but I'm pretty sure you gotta do a bit more than that. And who said that college is easy? You gotta study constantly, and especially for a doctor, you gotta have your top grades, you gotta take various exams, you gotta get work experience, you gotta do so much stuff which I barely even know and you definitely don't know at all. And then she says to have an OnlyFans, you have to have an impenetrable mental fortress or whatever. Listen, um, if you can take a bunch of um, uh, mean comments, most people will compliment you, but if you can take a bunch of mean comments on social media, th that's about it. You don't need an impenetrable mental fortress, all right? I'm on social media. I've got a lot of people hating on me. I don't care. I, I, I know it's different from showing your body, but... I, I doubt I doubt you're that big, all right? It, get, calm down. And then she says you have to keep up with their body indefinitely. First off, everybody has to keep up with their body or they'll get health issues. Everybody has to exercise. Yes, for OnlyFans, um, you do have to look a bit better. I mean, you don't really, do ya? I, I would give an example of a very, very popular creator. She's she's actually in, you know, the top, top percent of OnlyFans. And, and not traditionally the... The greatest. I'm not. I'm not even gonna say the name, but you, you probably know who I'm talking about. So you don't need to keep up with your body, all right? And it's not exponentially harder than you, you think. Doctors just prescribe antibiotics all day. Oh my god! And what is natural born talent? What? What? You have. You have to have a natural born talent for taking selfies. Listen, I'm not, I'm not like dissing the profession or whatever. I'm just saying that this person in particular, don't you dare compare it to saving lives as a doctor. How dare you? You cannot be taught how to be good at OnlyFans. It's literally a skill. That, that's a complete lie. You can definitely be taught how to be good at OnlyFans. Just ask a successful OnlyFans creator and she'll tell you what you need to do. What, what do you mean? It's a skill that I was born with. <laughs> Oh my god, you either have it or you don't. Anyone can go to school and learn other trades. Ah. Honestly, if there's a female doctor 
She could probably start an OnlyFans in the snap of her fingers, but you, you cannot become a doctor with the snap of your fingers. You have to go through years and years of turmoil to even have a chance of being a doctor. Some will say that doctors work harder because they save lives. I love how it's in quotes because, you know, doctors saving lives, nah, 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 never seen that happen. I save lives. <laughs> Oh my god, the content I produce will exist forever and continue to save lives and brighten people's days even after I am dead. That is true expertise. I wish this was satire, but it's not. It's just not. This person is so full of herself, it's ridiculous. Imagine thinking that posting pictures for guys and girls to wank to saves lives. You're not doing anything, all right? You're, you're providing a little bit of gratification for somebody's day and uh, I guess you do brighten up their day a bit but saving lives get out of here you did not cure somebody's cancer you did not uh, perform a heart surgery get out of here dude frick workers constantly have to deal with slander and degradation whereas doctors are praised for sacrificing their lives to medicine which anyone can do I don't understand guys anyone can do that but, but, but to be an OnlyFans girl, natural born talent. I like the, the uh, one, like the second I came out of the womb, I, I, I learned how to do my OnlyFans, natural born talent. What level of delusional is this? I've called many people delusional on this channel, but this, oh my God, oh my God. What do I even title this video, dude? I'm not going to praise someone for making a bad life choice. You should be bowing down to those of us with an OnlyFans for relieving all men across the world of their stress and worries and making them less aggressive and less likely to cheat. First off, I don't even know if this is true because I can't trust her at all because clearly the amount of research she does is zilch like negative research, you know, page 999 on Google. But yeah, again, nowhere close to saving lives. This is probably the most frustrating part. I also make more money than my doctor, so if you won't listen to the facts, that should say something. If they work harder than I do, why do I make more? Because that's how the internet works, because you're lucky, you've been blessed, you are so privileged and coddled to be making the amount of money that you're making now. Be grateful instead of bragging about your wealth and putting down other professions, uh, one of the most meaningful professions out there and you're putting it down because you think selfies is more important. And then she clarifies, if you think this thread is a joke, you are wrong and you only think that because you don't take frick work seriously or care about educating yourself. Grow up. Someone brought up a good point. Commitment. Frick work is probably the biggest lifetime commitment you can make career-wise. You can never come back from frick work. Once you start, your reputation is forever tarnished. This is true dedication. First off, you can be anonymous. You can not even show your face, all right? That's an option. But you, if you chose to show your face, you're putting it out there, all right? Also, who said being a doctor is not a long-term commitment? It takes years and years and years of hard work to become a doctor, so isn't that the definition of a long-term commitment? Also, humans are by nature nature is social creatures, and when you go down the path of becoming a doctor, you are well liked and respected, whereas with OnlyFans, it's the opposite. Therefore, you're more likely to become depressed when doing OnlyFans and flourish easily when becoming a doctor. This person has such a binary view of everything, like, she probably thinks that she's the most oppressed individual on planet Earth when she makes more money than a doctor for posting selfies. Like, who said doctors can't get depressed? Who are you to say this person can't get depressed? You don't know what's going going on in their life. And even in the profession, they stare death and sadness in the face 24-7. They have decisions to make, like what the heck is wrong with you? I could have easily become a doctor. I graduated at the top of my class, but I'm more of a high-risk, high-reward person. Don't let yourself be brainwashed into taking the long, pointless route for half the cash. Well, I guess you got the cash, but you kind of forgot that life is about more than money, you know? It's about being a decent person, being liked by people around you, giving back to the less fortunate, helping and saving lives, you know, ring a bell, having a good personality, which just from these tweets, I can tell you've got a terrible one. And no, you could not have become a doctor. Like, graduating at the top of your class is easy. To be a doctor, you need to have much more. You actually need to do that consistently. You need to have a genuine desire to help people, which you obviously don't. You would be a terrible doctor because you've, you have no desire to save anyone's life. You already
already think you do when you don't. Haters will deny the truth, onlyfans.com slash I'm not giving you any free promotion. Half off if you want to see me frick. So she also tweeted out a DM she got. Hey girl, didn't know if you were serious on the thread, but you forgot to add that nurses do most of the doctor's work. You only kind of get to see them at the end as a treat or whatever. Also, you never know if they're good doctors. Some of them might just be good enough to pass well. OnlyFans can be judges right away. Both visual and modeling abilities are needed for this. Anyways, I think frick workers are underappreciated and doctors overpaid. Again, don't know if you're kidding or not, but you're doing amazing, sweetie. Listen, I can't, man. This is so, so, so incredibly conceited. I can't take it. Like, the internet has legitimately given her so much support that it's probably gone to her head. Like, I totally understand valuing your job or whatever you do. Like, you can be satisfied with what you do, but how how dare you put down the profession of a doctor or a lawyer? Like, I completely forgot about the lawyer part, but it doesn't even matter. Like, when your family is in the hospital and a doctor saves your dad's life, do you genuinely think that you posting selfies is doing more for the world? Like, please, get off your high horse, it's embarrassing. And who, who's, who's saving the world from a pandemic right now? Like, Jesus Christ. A anyways, fellas, ho hope you did enjoy. Be sure to check out the Blue Knight videos. We're about to hit 30k, so I'd appreciate if you dropped a sub. We're trying to get recommended and stuff. Anyways, that's about it. Thank you to my channel members. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Stay awesome. At least you guys are not idiots. I love you. Bye bye